Vice President Bart Jagdio told reporters on Friday that it was simply wishful thinking that the PPP government could move to change the agreement now, but noted that they are committed to reviewing the agreement with the intent to get more out of it, as he made it clear that changes cannot be made at this point. The Vice President was speaking days after the People's Progressive Party went ahead with issuing a license for the Payara Development Project located in the Stabrook block. He said while the PPP government delayed issuing the license as it intensely reviewed the terms of the permit, it could not make any changes to the production agreement which governs all developments in the Stabrook block. The former APNU AFC government had granted the license for the Lisa Phase 1 and 2 while the PPP earlier this week approved the license for the Payara Field Development. And Jack Dio says a comparison of the two permits would show that there are major improvements in the Payara license when compared to Lisa license. So these are just some. We have unit, unit agreement. Now the last agreement, you would see that we remove royalty. Royalty from this one here, it was in Lisa. Because Lisa had royalty in it, and, but it says the royalty will be subjected to the petroleum agreement. So it just reinforces what is in the petroleum agreement rather than negotiate something different. different. So big, that is not there. And local content, the last Lisa had some issues on local component, component, um, content. But it never had a firm commitment in the license that Exxon must comply with the government of Guyana local content policy. That is part of this license too. So I can go on to point out the several substantive differences here. These are major differences. Jack Dio pointed out that routine flaring is prohibited in the PIR permit, while in the LISA permit, flaring was permitted because there was no prohibition. There is also a fine for flaring if it is done. Additionally, under the LISA permit, there were no costs, estimates, and details, while under the PIR agreement, ExxonMobil has to submit to the government within 90 days the development cost and the operating cost for the PIR project. Jack Dio also pointed out that there is a space now for safety and compliance audits where ExxonMobil will give the government U.S. $2 million to conduct these independent audits. ExxonMobil also has strict directions on local content. None of this was in the Lisa license. So there was no prohibition and there was no system of fine. Secondly, the cost estimates. Now, under LISA, there was no requirement for Exxon to provide the cost estimates and the details of it. Under this agreement, within 90 days from the date of, of signing of the license, they have to produce, give to the government of Guyana the development costs and the operating costs for the Payara project. So now we can, we can see the cost, they would submit it, and then we can assess whether those costs are reasonable. The vice president also responded to statements by opposition leader Joseph Harmon, who earlier on Friday said that the license issued by the PPP government was similar to the one issued by the EPNU AFC. Jack Dio accused him of being ill-informed and pointed out that the production agreement was already signed and the government still has to operate within the confines of that agreement once it its use license for the Starbrook block. Jack Dio said the PPP government could not change the financial terms, as some persons have suggested, neither could it refuse to issue the license as a leverage for changing the production agreement. Kurt Campbell, Newsroom.